So I've got, whoa, that was really like Wallace and Gromity, like, oh, cheese, let's go to the moon to get some more cheese. That wasn't actually a British accent. It was really, really bad. I can actually do a pretty decent British accent. In fact, my students sometimes ask me to do one, but I'm afraid to do it on here because if my voice teacher from acting school for some reason finds these, which I seriously doubt, she'd be terribly disappointed in how not as good I do it. Um, I have things to talk about. Um, nothing to do with the former video where I was... That situation that is not awesome is still unchanged. Um, I'm doing better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have my ups and downs. It's kind of like going through the grieving process. Like all... Was it like five or seven stages? All like at once. The depression, the anger, the denial, the bargaining, the acceptance, all kind of cyclical um, in the past two weeks. So a couple things. First, I wanted to show you this, which is um, A Whisper of, a, of a Memory, which is Brenda Berry's book. I've talked about her and her books on my blog before. She is another author through Utopia Press, which is the publisher of Phase. I don't know why I'm pointing myself. I'm not Phase, but I'm kind of Phase. <laughs> Um, anyway, she sent it to me, and um, somebody on Etsy, you send them your, the, the JPEG of your cover, and they make them, and you give them away, and so, sorry, it's taking me a little while, okay, ta-da, I know it's kind of blurry, sorry, this thing doesn't focus very well, I had some made, They're li and I'm gonna get little, you know, straps, straps, necklaces and maybe a charm as well um, and give them away. How cute are they? Um, sorry, that's kind of exciting. I think these should be like a new thing because I'd so get like a Gatsby one and I don't know, there's some really beautiful covers out there. Um, I'd probably even get a Twilight one. Also, I might be getting some more buttons in. Um, they have quotes on them and like little uh, nicknames. I have, I, I tried to, I made some and sort of as a trial and they turned out pretty well because I have this signing on June 8th at Printer's Row in Chicago, which I can't actually tell you where it is because I'm not sure because I rarely go to Chicago. Um, but it's a big deal. It's a big event. All these writers and books and publishers and stuff are there. And I'm a part of Chicago Writers Association now. I know. You think I'm really cool. And I signed up for a slot. And so I will have my book, my book in paperback to sell and sign, as well as some giveaway stuff. Um, like these. They're cute. Um, they were made by Sophie's Beads on Etsy. See, there's my plug. And also probably these buttons. And I have things like Freak Girl and Mutt and Puppy and human and all this kind of stuff, which I know probably if you've never read my book, you're thinking, wow, that's a real creative woman. But if you've read my book, you will appreciate it. So I have to order those uh, soon because <laughs> June 8th is like two weekends away. Oh my gosh. And school is almost out. And I should be grading right now. Uh, my brain's a little fried. But reviews, things to review and talk about. I did see The Great Gatsby two Fridays ago, the film by Baz Luhrmann with Leonardo DiCaprio as Gatsby. I went with some of my students, or I met them at the theater. I didn't go with them because that seems weird. <laughs> there were some lovely moments in it. I just... I love Baz Luhrmann. I can't even express to you how much Moulin Rouge just was amazing the summer that it came out. I think I saw it four times in the theater. And Romeo plus Juliet from 1996. I mean, my gosh, I was 15 years old when that came out. Leonardo DiCaprio was Romeo was the dreamiest thing on the planet. This didn't do it for me. Um, I, you know, I, I just taught Gatsby, um last semester, at the end of the semester, remember in December, and in rereading it for teaching, it, it's like all of a sudden this, this, this work came alive for me. I mean, it's just, it's got to be now in like my top 10. Can I say that? I feel really bad about saying that about books. Um, I mean, easily four or five star. And 
maybe that was why. I just, I didn't like the changes they made. And some of the things they did was so Moulin Rouge-esque, which was fine for Moulin Rouge, but this is the 20s and it should be different. I mean, it's still a lot of excess when you when you think about, um, you know, what was going on. And I just, there were some great performances. Leonardo DiCaprio was an excellent Gatsby. Uh, there was, the reunion between Daisy and Gatsby was just perfect. The music sometimes took me out, um, and I'm all for updating the music and doing it in a new way so it reaches a broader audience. The hip hop just, some places didn't do it for me. <sighs> that sounds awful. I just, I, I, I love you, Baz Luhrmann, but mm, you hurt my heart, and not in a good way. But I think I will watch it again because I think whenever you see a film that you have high expectations for, it's based on a book that you love. You spend the first time watching it doing this whole, um, you, what are they going to screw up thing. And just see my reaction for Prince Caspian, which was me curled up in the fetal position going, no. So, um, and then I think you need to see it again to sort of appreciate it just as a film because it probably is a very, very good film. It just... Work. Oh, and the guy who played Tom Buchanan, uh, Joel Edgerton, excellent, way good. And some of the visual details were, were great, although I do think he kind of hit you over the head with the symbolism. I mean, I'm pretty darn sure the green light wasn't that bright. Maybe it was me. Okay, so that I wanted to talk about. And also, I read, duh, okay, come on, I read this. Okay, it's called Pushing the Limits. It's by Katie McGarry. Um, if you are into contemporary young adult fiction that's kind of on the angsty side, you need to read that. Like now. It's probably like $4.99, $6.99 on Kindle. Go buy it, okay? I have already recommended it to students. I, I it's good. And I, I can't even like... I don't want to give too much away. I mean, it's romantic and all that kind of stuff, but it deals with some really heavy stuff, and she does a great job of it. And the next book in the series about characters, you know, other characters or side characters that you met in Pushing the Limits, um, came out last night, and I couldn't sleep. So when it popped up on my Kindle, guess who started reading it? I'm like halfway through Dare You Too, which is the second novel. I don't know. I've been reading a lot of contemporary stuff. It is what it is. I'm not sure. I mean, I used to read so much paranormal, and maybe that's why I wrote a paranormal novel, but I have been thinking about some contemporary... Uh, I had this great idea, which I can't tell you about because I don't want you anyone to steal it, because people do that, but a uh, contemporary novel set in Los Angeles. Um, I did spend time there, so I feel like I can talk about it. And... It was an interesting three and a half years that I spent in Los Angeles. So, have I said everything that I wanted to? I haven't seen Iron Man 3 or Star Trek Into the Darkness. I know. And I really should get back to grading essays on Catcher in the Rye. Research papers on Catcher in the Rye. Pretty much everyone thinks that he's got some sort of mental illness. I've heard everything from PTSD to bipolar to antisocial something. But it's Catcher in the Rye. And yeah, maybe he does. But at the same time, he's kind of relatable and maybe mental illness is much more diagnosed now and so more people can connect. I don't know. It's been interesting, these uh, essays. They're just kind of long. My own fault. <laughs> I assigned them. So, recap. I have adorable, cute, new pendants that I will soon be making into because I will be at Printer's Row June 8th from 4 to 6. I really hope that's my time slot. That's the time I remember. Gatsby the film? Yeah, it's worth seeing. I'll say that. Um, it's visually stunning. And you should go buy this book. It's... Um, you know, I don't know what it is. It's it's just, the characters are interesting and different, 
and it even but it even plays on the whole good girl bad boy thing which you know we can deal with in fiction so that's it for my rambling for this week um school's almost out soon i'm going to get a new video camera i hope oh i hope and tickets have been bought i'm going to england at the end of june into early july Okay, bye.